Spotlight, presented by Community Health Network. Welcome back. Imagine being out of the country and needing life-saving surgery. In today's, today's Health Spotlight, we share how one father ended up not just in brain surgery, but awake and talking to surgeons as well. All of it happened during a vacation. News Aid's Brittany Noble has more on that story. Nico, he's my musical type of guy. Alec is my athletic side. Both boys are Fernando Vera's reason for living, and that was never more clear than last Father's Day when the family was on vacation in the Dominican Republic and... Entered the arcade, I started twitching on my left side, and then I bit my tongue to bleed and foam up and slowly fell down. Fernando felt like he was leaving his body. You're like, no, but wait a minute, I can't, I can't leave Nico and Alec. Like, are you kidding me? God, like... I need to get back in there. You know, I can't, I'm not ready. Rushed to the ER and then flown back to Miami. Fernando was diagnosed with a cerebral vascular malformation. Which is a collection of blood vessels that creates a ball. And those uh, collection of blood vessels can cause bleeding or in the brain or seizures. Neurosurgeon Robert Stark says each time Fernando had a bleed, the more likely he would have another, causing more damage to his brain each time. And the best option? surgery to remove it. If we do this surgery awake, I'm able to stimulate those areas to carefully identify where are the speech centers and where are the seizures coming from. This is a video of Fernando's surgery. A resident is keeping the conversation going with him for hours. We use a huge microscope that's bigger than, you know, all of us put together to make a tiny opening and go in and remove this malformation. The surgery was a success. Fernando went home two days later and hasn't had a seizure since. I'm Brittany Noble, reporting for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.